As Toronto mourns the victims of Sunday's mass shooting on the Danforth, police continuing their investigation into the gunman. An autopsy will be performed this morning on the body of 29-year-old Faisal Hussein. An SIU spokesperson saying that during the rampage, Hussein exchanged gunfire with two police officers on Bowden Street, which is just south of Danforth Avenue. His body was found shortly after the exchange. However, it is not clear whether he was killed by police bullet or a bullet on, turned on himself. Now, the officers were not injured. Fifteen people were shot. Two of the victims have died. As a result, as you know, two people have uh, succumbed to the injuries. Uh, one is an 18-year-old female and another is a 10-year-old girl. Thirteen other victims ranging in the age from 10 to 59 years old are being treated in the hospital. Now, the one victim has been identified as 18-year-old Reese Fallon, a student who is planning to study nursing this fall at McMaster University. Also killed a 10-year-old girl from the GTA. Her family has asked that her name not be released at this time. Autopsies will be performed on the victims tomorrow. 13 other people ranging in age from 17 to 59 treated in hospital for minor to serious injuries. And, and on the Danforth this morning, the community continues to try to come to grips with this horrific shooting. Our Tammy Sutherland live right now at a memorial honoring the victims, Tammy. And this memorial continues to grow. That's right, and it's popped up actually just right down the street into Alexander Park. And here on this plywood, spray painted is We Are Danforth. And pictures of the 18 year old victim, Reese Fallon, are here as well. And many of the memorials have items that are dedicated to this victim. There was also, of course, a vigil that was held last night at the Calvary Church. That's just down the street at Papen Danforth, where many members of the community came out to pay their respects to the people who have died and those who were injured in Sunday's shooting. Now, the mayor was one of those people at that vigil last night, and he, this is what he had to say. That we should just have a discussion about how we can do much, much better uh, at making sure that these guns don't fall into the wrong hands. And as you can see on the plywood itself, many people leaving smaller messages on there saying that we love you, love will win, God bless you all, and Toronto strong reoccurring themes here on the plywood itself. When it comes to the victim, Reese Fallon, the 18 year old just graduated from Malvern Collegiate. She was set to go to McMaster for nursing in the fall. Mel, I'll send it back to you. All right, Tammy, thank you so much for that. Two other news now. One of the suspects in a brazen daylight shooting at a playground in Scarborough that sent two young girls to hospital is set to appear in court today. 21-year-old Sheldon Aria will be appearing for his bail hearing. This is in Eglinton Avenue Courthouse at 10 this morning. 23-year-old Tarek Roden and Taquan Robertson both wanted for two counts of aggravated assault, attempted murder, and discharging a firearm with intent. It's a 22 All right, and in a recall to tell you about now, and this one's going to affect a lot of parents, so look in your cupboards here. A brand of Pepperidge Farm goldfish crackers are being recalled due to concerns of salmonella contamination. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency is saying this recall affects both the 180-gram and 69-gram packages of goldfish flavor-blasted extreme cheddar crackers. Now, there have been no reported illnesses, but packages should be thrown out or returned to the store where they were purchased. The agency warns that food contamination with salmonella may not look or smell spoiled, but can still make you sick. All right, it is uh, 6.06, and we're going downstairs to Roger and Winston.